Hi, I'm Cheyenne and I'm a six-time IUSA Spearfishing World Record Holder and today we're going to be diving off of a secluded island in the Bahamas. We're going to be starting out the trip with the pole spear. Grab the band in your hand and hold it until you're ready to shoot the fish. The first fish of the day is a hogfish. I saw him from the surface and noticed that he was a big one. I swam down, lined up on him, and took my shot. He was a pretty good fighter. I had to struggle to get him up to the surface. It's a lot more difficult with a pole spear because you don't have the line to let go and let the fish run. You have to fight him all the way up on one breath. After getting the hogfish in the boat, I moved on to look for other species. I saw a large school of schoolmasters and lined up on the biggest one. I hit him right in the tail. I was a little bit worried about my shot not being able to be a holding shot because I had hit him in the tail, but thankfully it held true and didn't pull out. I took a look in his mouth and he had a little Ooh. friend in there. He's got he's got a lobster in his mouth. Oh my look at this fat belly. Yeah. So after our trip to the Bahamas, we decided to head back to the Keys. I switched over to my spear gun, which is basically a band system, which requires me cocking the bands back to a tab on my shaft. So I swim down on the coral ball for the first dive of the day and I spot a mangrove. I line up on the shot, drop down, Kill shot, I stoned him perfect. I pull him up to the surface with ease since he has no fight left in. My last dive down and I spot a mutton. And muttons are a little bit trickier because they always seem to be leading away and you never can get in range. I swim down to him, lined up, nailed him. I was worried about my shot pulling out because I hit him a little bit low and they have very soft skin. But I got him to the boat without a problem. Overall, it was a pretty successful trip. I landed a hog, schoolmaster, mangrove snapper, and mutton snapper, all in one trip. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and keep up with us in our spearfishing adventures.